Okay, when, let me just get your thoughts on uh, on the loss tonight. Um, tough loss. Hats out to um, hats off to them that came out prepared. Um, uh, we didn't play hard enough. We didn't make the plays that, that were out there for us to make, and uh, we just got to do a better job next week. First question goes to David Morissuti. David? Uh, when we saw Coach Bell talk to the team on the sideline there, what was kind of the message – uh, you know, just felt like you know, the team just needed a little bit of a wake-up call there? Yeah, just to kind of, uh, you know, get up on our skin a little bit, get that fire going. Uh, it kind of looked like, I guess you could tell by the score, but it felt like we were going through the motions a lot out there on defense. And like I said, man, we left a lot of players out there. So, you know, him being the, the fire, you know, the fire coach that he is, man, he don't, he's not going to let us sit back and, and just waste the game away. So uh, he's trying to get the most out of us. It just seems like a lot of, you know, a lot of guys got hurt in this game. Was there conditions on the field? Was there something that you felt like led to guys getting hurt quite a bit tonight? Uh, it's just football, man. Just football. You don't know going into the game what's going to happen, uh, but it's just a part of it. How tough was that running game to stop tonight? You know, they it seemed like a very similar situation last year. They just wanted to run the ball all game against you guys. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's something that I take on the chin. You know, being there, being a linebacker, and being one of the leaders on this team on this defense. Uh, you know, we can't let that happen. And you know, they did run the ball and stuff on us. And you know, we gotta do a better job tightening up on that. And final one here for me: What's kind of the message now, uh, as you guys reflect and obviously take the time now to see you, how you bounce back going forward? But what's kind of the message right now to the team? Same message if we want, man. Come in to work the next day. Let's go one another next week. Simple. What you saw there tonight? Yeah, we were sleepwalking a little bit. I can tell we we're flat. You know, you can't walk in someone's backyard and, and it's, it's, expect to win, right? And they're a good football club, well coached. Yeah, I think we got outplayed. And I think we got outcoached today. So I think all of us got to look in the mirror and you know, see yeah, how we could have been better this week. And you know, I told the guys, you know, sometimes it's good to take one on the chin and. Let's learn from it. And I told them, hey, maybe we'll read too much of our press clippings and think how great we are. Uh, we, we just got to focus on Ottawa this week. And how you how you rebound and focus your first loss this season? How do you move forward now? Well, it's actually probably it might be a good thing, even though I'm not happy with the performance, but it might be a good thing. I told those guys that are reading the press clippings, okay, you expect to be ranked third, you know, next week in the in the rankings, which I can't wait. I hate being up at the top. I think when we're underdog, we play better. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot to learn from, you know, hopefully we get some guys back health. Thank God we got a nine, nine day week, but uh, yeah, great learning experience. And, and do you have any updates, whether it's, whether it's Chad or, or the other players, Brinkman, pick it that were, that were hurt? Yeah. So I think Brink's going to be out for a bit. Um, I think Chad and, uh, you know, pick could be back next week. Um, you know, we got a nine day a week. So attack the rehab there. And then, yeah, you know, we gotta be smart too. We got a bye week after that. So maybe, it's, you know, time to let, let them get two weeks to get healthy, you know, get cam coached up and, you know, give them an opportunity to, Go out there and be successful next week. And lastly, just discipline. Your team took a lot of penalties mm -hmm. today. How did that affect yeah. things? And what was your reaction to seeing them? Come it was disappointing. You know, we had that happen versus Montreal, and it was what we talked about all week. PFF, Penguins mm -hmm. Street Football. You know, and it was just and not and staying on sides, right? We were using our cadence during the week, and then we have two receivers offside. I mean, these guys have been in the system for long enough. They know the terminology. It was just embarrassing. The receivers were awful. Okay, Hoagie, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. First question goes to David Morissuti. Hey, Ryan. Um, obviously, we got the updates there on the injuries. How do you feel Cam stepped in in that situation, being thrown in like that? Well, I, I think, he, you know, he did some decent things. You know, the pick, I wish you to, you know, gave our guy a chance and let, let on the outside. It's a shot, falls incomplete. We kick a field goal there. And he missed, missed a few things. But I thought he did some good, some good stuff. The moment wasn't too big for him. And, and guys got to make plays for him. Like I said, the receivers. They got to get better. I was disappointed in our receivers today. Just felt like an un, you know not a typical night for you guys, especially on you know, Javon having the fumble on the punt there. Just felt like something was just out of sync with the group. You could see it. Like I told the guys, like we're sleepwalking. I could kind of tell in warm ups. Just no, there was no energy there. Um, you know, I just you know we guys were you know feeling pretty good about themselves. It was good. We got punched in the mouth and we got learned from it. But yeah, you know the. Play leak made there at the half. I mean, come on, man. Like, we can't have that. And that was game changing play. But we still had opportunities to fight after that. That just didn't work out for us. It, was, it wasn't our day. But, you know, it, it was a, a humbling experience. Like I told you guys, you got a little taste of humble pie. Uh, let's learn from it. And final one for me. It seemed like 
almost a repeat of what happened last year. They just wanted to run the ball against you all game long and just felt like you guys didn't have an answer for that. Yeah, we did. Uh, they, they did a great job. I, I think we did a good job, you know, being gap sound. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate. Those guys were on the field too much as, as well. The offense got to do more to help out the defense. I thought the defense fought enough to give us a chance to win. Um, you know, where they at their best, no. But, I mean, all, all of us uh, got to look in the mirror and find ways to get better.